This is the final this is the finalist video by the team PHSS CSAD11. My name is Caleb and I'm from Singapore and I have about two years of RoboCup experience. I am participating in the Coal Space Autonomous Driving U19 division. And this was the map of the preliminary challenge. The map has two main routes that participants can consider to choose. One left and one right. These are the positives and negatives of each path. The right path is easier to code, but requires a longer amount of time to complete. The left path is shorter, but requires a much more lengthy and complicated code. Eventually, I felt that I was better off choosing the right path. This allowed me to end with a time of 1 minute and 5 seconds. I felt happy, but I definitely could have done better. The task of the Core Space Challenge is to reach the end of the map in the shortest amount of time. One mini task that participants have to consider is to visit all the checkpoints of the, on the map. And if reaching the end is not feasible, the amount of checkpoints and the amount of time taken to visit those checkpoints will be taken into account by the judges. I used the AI development panel in the application to code, and this allowed me to code with a level of complication with the option of adding variables but still keeping things simple. I use variables to affect the decisions that the robot would be making. This is an example of how variables were used. As the robot reached the blue intersection, when it detects the color blue, the blue variable will be increased to 1. And as it makes the left turn, the robot knows that it has made through the intersection and it will also know which intersection it is going to reach. And as it line traces and detects the color green, it knows that it is at the green intersection and will then make a right turn. One issue that I encountered was that the robot was not going where I had wanted it to. And this was due to an inconsistent program. So, I have to let the robot make every turn and I will make sure that the robot was as consistent as possible. I am satisfied with my result during the preliminary challenge and I would have improved my strategy by using the left route instead of the one I had taken. I had learned that not everything will be in your favour all the time. And through this challenge, I have gained patience through the multiple failures I have experienced. Some important advice that I have for future participants of any cold space competition is that they should not give up easily. Thank you for listening to my presentation.